quiet move out of China is starting to ripple across the tech world. Reports say Alibaba has secretly developed a new artificial intelligence chip, one designed to fill the gap left by Nvidia after US restrictions cut off China's access to its most powerful processors. This could change the AI race in ways nobody expected. Alibaba's bold step into AI chips Alibaba Group Holdings, better known for e-commerce, has been expanding aggressively into cloud computing and AI. Its latest project, revealed by the Wall Street Journal, is a new AI chip that's more advanced and flexible than its earlier designs. Unlike past processors that were built for narrow, specific tasks, this new chip is meant to power a wider range of AI inference workloads, the kind that fuel everything from recommendation engines to large language models. What makes this chip stand out isn't just its versatility. For the first time, Alibaba is relying on a Chinese manufacturer instead of Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, to produce the hardware. TSMC had previously made Alibaba's processors, but US restrictions have since blocked the company from supplying leading-edge AI chips to China. By turning to a domestic fabricator, Alibaba is aligning itself with Beijing's push for technological self-sufficiency. Why Nvidia became the target? To understand why Alibaba's move matters, you need to look at the NVIDIA story. NVIDIA, led by CEO Jensen Huang, dominates the global AI chip market. Its H100 and Blackwell chips are considered industry gold standards. But in 2023, the US placed strict export restrictions on those products, cutting off China from the best performing chips on the market. To keep a foothold in China, NVIDIA created the H20 chip, a weaker but still powerful processor. It was supposed to be the compromise solution. Yet earlier this year, the Trump administration blocked even the H20 from being sold in China. This left companies like Alibaba scrambling. As China's largest cloud provider and one of Nvidia's biggest Chinese customers, it needed a backup plan. In July, President Trump allowed Nvidia to resume H20 exports. But by then, Beijing had already warned domestic companies against buying them, citing possible security risks. Nvidia denied those claims, but the message was clear. China didn't want to rely on American technology any longer. Reports even suggested Nvidia halted H20 production as Chinese buyers pulled back. Other Chinese players step up. Alibaba isn't alone in trying to close the gap. Across China, several companies are rolling out chips meant to replace Nvidia products. In July, Shanghai-based Metex introduced a new processor that it claims can directly replace the H20. The Metex chip comes with larger memory capacity, giving it an edge in certain AI tasks. The downside is that it consumes more power. Still, the company has already announced plans to begin mass production. Another rising contender is Beijing-based Cambricun Technologies. Its Suan 590 chip has received strong orders from customers, marking it as one of the most promising Chinese-designed processors. And then there's Huawei, which showcased a computing system that integrated 384 Ascend chips. While the system was energy intensive, analysts noted it outperformed Nvidia's setup in some metrics. Nvidia's comparable system used 72 Blackwell chips. Even if Huawei's approach wasn't efficient, it showed that Chinese hardware could challenge American dominance in performance. The bigger strategy behind Alibaba's move. Alibaba's decision to build its own chip fits into a larger corporate strategy. CEO Eddie Wu has been clear that the company doesn't just want to compete in one segment of AI. Instead, it wants to build an entire platform where AI and cloud services drive growth together. Earlier this year, the company announced it would spend 380 billion renminbi over $50 billion over the next three years on cloud and AI infrastructure. This isn't just talk. Alibaba already rolled out an AI model, it says, can beat products from DeepSeek, OpenAI, and Meta platforms, and its cloud division is seeing real growth. In the quarter that ended in June, cloud revenue rose 26%, beating market expectations. Those numbers signal that demand for AI services is rising fast in China, and Alibaba is positioned positioning itself to meet that demand with both software and hardware. On a recent earnings call, Eddie Wu said Alibaba has two historic opportunities. One is to build a technology platform centered on AI plus cloud. The other is to create a comprehensive ecosystem for shopping and daily services. If the company can execute on both fronts, it could reshape not only its own future, but also the balance of global tech power. Investors are already paying attention. Alibaba's stock jumped more than 10% on Friday, helped by both its strong earnings and the news of its chip development. Meanwhile, the semiconductor sector showed weakness. The PHLX Semiconductor Index fell nearly 3%, dragged down by a double-digit decline in Marvel technology. 
shares of NVIDIA, advanced micro devices, and TSMC were also down. Challenges. Of course, building chips is not easy, and industry insiders acknowledge that China still has a long way to go. The US remains years ahead in terms of the most advanced semiconductor technology. NVIDIA's H100 and Blackwell series are still unmatched in performance, but what's changing is the determination from Chinese firms. With support from Beijing and billions in investment, companies like Alibaba, MetaX, Cambrican, and Huawei are building an ecosystem that could one day rival American products. The fact that Alibaba's chip is still in testing means it's not ready to take on Nvidia directly, but its very existence highlights the direction of travel, the global AI race. This story is bigger than one company or one chip. It's about a broader contest between the United States and China for dominance in artificial intelligence. The US has used export restrictions to slow China's progress, but those very restrictions have given Chinese companies more incentive to innovate on their own. The result is a wave of new processes, each designed to replace or surpass NVIDIA's products in the Chinese market. Whether they can match NVIDIA in efficiency, performance and ecosystem support remains to be seen. But one thing is certain, the AI race is no longer a one-sided game. With Alibaba, Huawei and others stepping up, the competition is becoming more balanced and more unpredictable. What happens next? So, could Alibaba's secret AI chip actually challenge NVIDIA's reign? That depends on how quickly it can move from testing to large-scale deployment and whether it delivers performance close to what NVIDIA offers. Even if it falls short, the symbolic impact is already huge. It shows that China's biggest tech companies are serious about building their own future, chip by chip. What do you think? Could Alibaba and its rivals eventually break NVIDIA's dominance in AI chips? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned because this battle is only just beginning.